Google just unveiled a technology that could change how AI remembers forever. Kling turned simple prompts into full videos with voice and sound, and Google Workspace is adding AI agents that basically act like extra employees. Here's everything that just happened in the AI world this week. Starting off with Google, the biggest breakthrough of the week, Google introduced Titans, a brand new architecture that gives AI real long-term memory during inference. Until now, models basically forgot everything once the chat ended. That's exactly where Titan steps in. It uses a neural memory module that updates itself while the model is running, deciding what to keep using a surprise signal, just like humans remember important moments and forget the boring stuff. With this, AI can keep stable context across huge documents, even millions of tokens, and the early tests show it outperforming bigger models on extreme long context tasks. If this works at scale, we're looking at the beginning of AI that actually remembers across sessions, research tasks, documents, and long workflows. This could be the start of the next era after today's standard architectures. Next up, Kling just dropped its Video 2.6 model, which made video creation way simpler by merging visuals, dialogue, sound effects, and ambient audio into one single output. You type a prompt or give it a multi-scene script, and it automatically produces everything, from lip-synced voices, background sound, pacing, tone, to rhythm. And the wild part is the control. You can specify how the voice should sound, how energetic a moment should be, even how quickly the audio builds. For creators, this kills the old workflow where you had to generate the video, then hunt for stock sound, then manually sync it all in an editor. Partners like Veed and Artlist are already integrating it, meaning this is about to become a default layer in the editing pipeline. In practical terms, a single person can draft an advertisement or explainer video in minutes without touching voice talent or audio software. Now talking about Google AI, it puts AI agents into Workspace. This is Google's biggest step into workplace automation yet. Workspace Studio lets anyone, literally anyone, to create AI AI agents inside Gmail, Docs, Drive, and Chat without writing a line of code. You just describe what you want. The agent can read your inbox, sort messages by urgency, draft replies, summarize threads, pull documents from Drive, prep meeting notes, and route information across teams. And testers say it's cutting drafting and prep time by up to 90%. This is the moment where AI agents stop being a tech demo and become part of everyone's daily workflow. You're not asking for suggestions, you're handing off actual tasks. And because the agents live directly inside workspace, people don't need to switch tools or wait for IT. The average employee is now able to automate entire chunks of their job on their own. Now coming on to some quick news before we wrap up. DeepThink in Gemini 3 is rolling out to ultra subscribers, giving the model slower but far more analytical reasoning modes for complex tasks. And Meta is quietly shifting money from the metaverse into AI-powered smart glasses, betting that wearables, not VR pods, will be their next big hardware win. Runway drops Gen 4.5. The new model delivers sharper motion physics, more accurate lighting, and way better prompt following, making AI video look even closer to real footage.